So when Adi Yogi transmitted the fundamental mechanics of how human system is made, when we say human system, we are not just looking at uh, your kidneys, liver, this, that. The fundamental human system, how it is created from within and how it manifests itself, how it functions and what we can do about it. One thing is to live a healthy and complete life, another is to take it as an instrument to explore mystical dimensions of life, as an instrument to become a receptacle of knowing. So this he thought in seven different ways, he categorized it into seven. It's from that all this misunderstanding of seven chakras and all this stuff. He categorized it as seven, as seven basic segments in which you could teach. So seven schools of yoga started. But as days went by or years went by or centuries and millennia went by, people started specializing. They say at that time over eighteen hundred schools, distinct types of yoga were established in India. So somewhere around thirty-two hundred years ago, Patanjali Maharishi came. When he came, he tried to assimilate all this into yoga sutras. So he assimilated these eighteen hundred different types of yogas into little over two hundred yoga sutras and made it into Ashtanga yoga, that is eight limbs of yoga. Everything falls into these eight limbs. So from then on, he was considered as the father of modern yoga. In India, modern means thirty two hundred years ago, okay <laughs> So he is known as the fa father of modern yoga. The word modern was used at that time. They said, Patanjali is the father of Navina yoga, that means modern yoga. But we continue to use the same word even today after thirty-two hundred years ago because he kind of… he did not reinvent, he only assimilated. Because it had become too specialized and broken into too many parts, he kind of put it back into one place.